All right, so the question came up about writing melodies. Um, not so much uh, what we had discussed before in terms of adding more dynamic elements to your melodies, but in terms of just writing a melody. Um, you've got, you know, maybe you've written some lyrics and, they, and you've got a nice chord progression. Whatever you're playing. And then you're like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And, and this is a question that's come up again and again recently. Um, so I wanted to address actually composing the melody from the ground up. Now, you can go online, you can buy books, you can look at articles, and they'll talk about following the chord progression. That's assuming, of course, you've come up with the, the chord progression first. And then they'll break down the the um, each chord and say, for example, if you've got a C chord, then the notes are you know, C, E, and G, and then if your next chord is F, and of course the notes there are F, A, and C, and then of course they're they're finding a way to like walk the, you know, the, take the different options. So this is all fine and correct, but it's very mechanical, and it doesn't feel right to most people who've asked me that question. Um, and in fact, the the problem that I've run into so far with that is anytime I've started down that route, the question is often asked by um, by people who are not as familiar with every note in the chord. And so the idea of breaking down every chord into its constituent notes and then trying to find some line between and all that just seems like this huge endeavor. Um, and so I typically prefer something um, a, a more intuitive approach. And we can certainly backtrack later and look at all these elements. They're, they are important. It's not that I'm, I'm trying to undersell the importance of knowing all that stuff. However, if you don't know all that, that doesn't need to be a long road um, of study before you can even write your first melody. That, just, that, that seems silly <laughs> to me. Um, so we need a more intuitive approach. So what would that be? Well, the first thing is just like I, my, my advice when anybody wants to start writing songs, my first question is how many songs, uh, assuming they play an instrument and sing, how many songs do you already know? Do you know two songs, 20 songs, 200 songs? That matters. That matters because from an intuitive perspective, um, if you only know two or three songs that others have written, then you haven't developed that intuitive sense of how songs are structured. Um, verses and choruses and bridges and intros and outros and on and on. Um, you may know those, but they're not they're not ingrained, they're not intuitive yet, and that's what we're at, that's what we're looking for. So that's kind of my first approach is just sing a lot of different songs. Now, most of the people asking, uh, how to write a melody have already been singing lots of songs, but I'm I'm just throwing that out there. <clears throat> now, one approach would be if you've got a couple of songs um, that are that, that feel like what you're shooting for on a particular song that you're writing, then what you can do is is sing those songs, <laughs> um, sing a couple of those songs, and then go back to your song and play and and, and you'll likely find some avenue uh, that starts yielding some results. And from that point where you've got some raw material, some raw melodic material, we can start we can start working on it. But that doesn't work for everybody. And often um, in, in, in um, individual lessons and in workshops I've done before when that's come up, a lot of times they feel like the results have been too derivative. It sounds too much like this song or... I tried to do that thing where I steal a little from here and a little from there and end up the verse <laughs> sounds like this song and the chorus sounds like this song. Fair enough. Um, another thing you can do is if you just learn a couple of simple scales, for example, the C major scale, even just within an octave, um, then you can sing with a scale. And, and then as you're doing that, da, 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 da.
So the idea is you you start with a scale, and then if you're playing some chords that work in with that, <clears throat> then you can start finding sort of this intuitive avenue. Um, so that's that's one thing. Now another scale, a uh, simple A minor pentatonic. If you don't know that, uh, we can certainly get that for you. But that's a good one. Again, if you're singing along with the scale. Then, So I'm just pulling a little piece out and strumming a chord and singing a little piece of the scale. Um, the, the two different scales have some very distinct uh, differences in terms of how far the notes are jumping. But again, I don't want to get too technical right now. I want to keep this intuitive. So we'll talk about steps and, and skips, as, as some people refer to them, and, and um, step motion and moving up and down and whatnot later. Um, but the idea is if you just start with a piece of a scale, um, you can even start with a piece of someone else's melody. Just take a piece of it. And so if you're taking a, um, a little chunk of that and working that over a chord, then that's another good way to get started. Um, a third way to get started, anyone who's been to uh, um, improv, improv workshop or one of the songwriting workshops or even in lessons where we, where we discuss these... Um, these sorts of things. You've heard me talk about the Mary Had a Little Lamb structure. <clears throat> it's not just a melodic structure, although it is a melodic structure. Um, it's also a structure that you can use in, in um, um, riffs, for example. Um, so what I mean by Mary Had a Little Lamb structure... Mary Had a Little Lamb... Okay, so you've got this... It's stating this, this idea. Um, then it responds to that idea. The third line repeats the first line. That's all it is. It's exactly the same thing. It's also the same lyric, but uh, but it wouldn't have to be. And then the response here is not the same as the first response. It gives a different response. Okay. Now again, we can get more technical about some of the things going on with that and why one response ends the way it does as opposed to the other and blah, blah, blah. But right now we don't care. Um, to give you another example of the Mary Had a Little Lamb structure, um, the famous rock riff, Smoke on the Water. Did you catch that? So, line number one. So it's like a question, and then there's a response. Well, I didn't like your response. I'm going to ask you the question again. Okay, we'll give you a different answer. Um, so, same sort of thing. So, there's an example of it being used in a riff. Um, so, that's, um, that's, that gives you one sort. Not the only structure out there for, for melodic ideas, but one structure that we can certainly um, use. And so, going back to your song, whatever it might be... Um, you can take that little piece of melody that we did a moment ago, um, which I've totally forgotten what it was. I was walking through the... There's that structure again. So I've just kind of hummed an idea over the C chord. I hummed a different idea over the next chord, the F. Um, I repeated the idea over C, and then a different response over the, the G. So again, this isn't <clears throat> giving you like you know a paint by numbers way to to create a melody. We again could do that too, but that would require a little bit of understanding of of the notes of each chord and whatnot. Um, but I'm, I'm just throwing some ideas out to help you get started. Um, the last idea I'll give you for today <clears throat> is simply um, forcing yourself 
away from the monotone. And what I'm driving at with that is a lot of times when people get started, they're not sure where to take the melody, so they're just sort of reading the lyrics, you know, blah, 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 that's not necessarily a bad thing. There's a, there's a place for that too, but most people aren't going to be satisfied with that as a as a starting point. Um, so let's say you you've got that. Blah, 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 blah. That's all it did. It had a second note in there and it came right back. <clears throat> so those are the kind of melodies that a lot of people start off with, and then of course they're not happy with that. Um, so what you can do is force yourself to move in one direction or the other. Da, 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 Maybe. So I'm just forcing myself up the scale. Then I force. Da, 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 da. Can work where maybe I can force myself even more on that second chord. So, um, again, we're just getting started with these. We, we can talk about crafting them additionally once we've got them, but we've got to have something to start with, is the idea. Um, so what we're driving at here is a way to come up um, with just some raw melodic material just to get you started. What you may find is that you end up fairly happy with whatever you start generating, um, but we do have tools once you've got some raw data there to start crafting them additionally if you so desire. Um, we've covered some of that before and we can certainly cover much more of it. Uh, in the future. But try those ideas and see if that gets you started on anything. Um, if, it, uh, if it does, let me know. You can, um, you can put something in the comments below. You can, put some, you can contact me directly um, and let me know. And if it doesn't, don't be shy about letting me know either. Let me you know, this, I tried this and this wasn't working and this is why. You know, do you have any other ideas or if you've got specific critiques on, on something or one of those ideas that you liked but I didn't go far enough and you want me to, to expound on that, just let me know and we'll, uh, we'll get that done for you too. So, um, I will be doing an article, a written article, that, um, that, that won't directly accompany this but uh, hopefully will expound on this a little bit as well. Um, so, any suggestions for that, I'm all about. So, good luck. Hopefully that will work for you. See you soon.